Self-care games are personal. They're different for everyone. For example, for James, they're city builders. They're non-violent, they engage his mind, and they're generally slow enough paced where they let him be rather than amping up his adrenaline or stress. On the other hand, my self-care games are kind of the exact opposite, but you know, more on that in the full episode below. Get over here for a hug! Now, when James started asking around about playing games for self-care to a small group of friends and colleagues, what he found out was almost everyone he knew had their specific self-care games. For some folks, it was an old beloved title from their youth, something that they could use to simply go back to happier times. For others, it was something more gentle with characters they loved, or something very task-oriented that let them just move from one micro-goal to the next, thinking about the small achievable thing in front of them rather than the larger looming issues in their external life. So if self-care games are in fact personal, then how can they be designed for? Well, for that answer, along with some pretty sweet food analogies, click that link below.